they give us everything we need. For a year that started like a wild volcano on a rainy morning, the year sure had some memorable moments, didn't it? Not only did we laugh and get shocked, we also had a good time with fun pop culture moments that would consider a starting point for an exciting sequence in the entertainment industry. Feeling lost on the moment so far this year, like Rema said, calm down as today's episode on Spice Most takes you back on a journey to where it all started with pop culture this year. Hello everyone, what's up? It's your boy Cross the Boss out here. You already know what time it is. And uh, I'm a baby boy, a tech enthusiast, an entertainer, and I'm all about lifestyle, making a community big and better. We are Spice Mouse. What up, people? My name is Dijo Lokun. I'm a fashion photographer and a creative director based in Lagos, Nigeria, and this is Spice Mouse. Hey, guys, my name is Kennedy Ekezie. I'm the CEO at Kepa, and this is Spice Mouse. Hey, this is Jadis. I'm a singer, songwriter, an actor, and this is Spice Most. What's good, my people? My name is Nonzo with the Z, Bassi. I'm a singer, songwriter, and an actor and you are watching Spice Most. Hey guys, what's up? My name is King Mardi and I'm a singer, songwriter and dancer from Nigeria and this is Spice Most. Tell us about your year so far. My year has been, it's been really good. I've seen a lot of highs and lows this year, um, made a lot of progress in business and personal life, fell in love this year. Um, that's been amazing and yeah, having fun so far. My year has been interesting. Around July, August, I started like, it started picking up. It's been quite interesting. Um, it's been a fulfilling year, to be honest. It's been a crazy year so far, you know, from, you know, the beginning of the year, which was, I think, election period to, um, you know, I think, um, um, my birthday, then going into the house, then coming out of the house, uh, you know, it's just been a very crazy, yeah, I think 2023 has been a very interesting year for me. It started out with the whole election and the drama in Nigeria and a lot of things became very shaky. But um, generally, um, I became a mom at the end of last year. So I just basically was doing mommy duties throughout the year while I was also recording my songs. and. That's basically how the year went. I mean, it's been a beautiful year. It's been one of my most hardworking years so far because this is the year I put out my first project, my first collaboration, music videos and everything. So this year has been amazing. 2023 has been really cool for me. Um, I finished my album finally and I said I wanted to start doing movies on YouTube. And I did quite a few. Uh, my dad turned 70 this year, so that was really cool. I went back home to Calabar and I've not gone back in a while, uh, so that was nice. What is the one thing you are looking forward to before the end of the year? Looking forward to making a lot of money before the end of the year. One thing I'm looking forward to before the end of the year is a conference I'm hosting. It's called The Roundtable. It brings together young people and we're expecting about 700 people this year, so I'm really looking forward to that. <laughs> Plenty of money in my account. <laughs> Um, there are some projects that um, are in the pipeline that I'm expecting the clients to get back to me. So I'm looking forward to doing those projects. I don't know, really. Like, I haven't thought about it, but maybe, like, I'm looking forward to meeting some of my idols, I guess. Just off the top of my head. Definitely seeing my family. I think my mom is coming back. I haven't seen her in almost a year now. So I think my siblings, my sister gave birth. So I think she's coming back. So I think I'm looking forward to reunite, um, getting a big reunion with my family. And um, yeah, um, I think my cousin's birthdays are coming up soon. So looking forward to that. And um, yeah, looking forward to Dirty to December as always. You know, every, for the past six years, I've been, always been having a very good, you know, December time. Some of my friends come back from abroad. You know, it's always going to be crazy here. So yeah, looking forward to that. One thing I'm looking forward to before the end of the year is my album listening. I'm very excited about it. It's called Diary of a Lover Boy and um, it's the first time I get to like really bring people together to hear it. I've been working on it since 2020. What project are you currently working on? Currently I'm working on my second exhibition, my second solo exhibition, which is supposed to start um, second week in January um, next year. 
Um, so the pieces are ready, but um, there are some ground runs that we are doing to get the right space, um, the marketing, the promotion. So right now, those are the things that uh, myself and my team are working on. So I'm working on an EP with um, a producer, Diaso, um, for Spice Most. It's called um, Once Upon a Sound. Um, it'll be out next year. Currently working on, well, I just released my first body of work titled King Madi, so that is out. And I released it a couple of days ago, so I guess that's my first project and that's what's coming out this year. Um, I own a software startup called Kippa and I'm spending most of my time working on that. So it's a permanent project that I always be working on, so. Currently, well, that is my big project. I'm putting out the music and uh, I just registered my production company, Wild Imaginations. <sighs> I just did my um, um, a video shoot um, uh, two days ago um, for a single, yeah, Outside Has Not A Look Back, so it's coming out December, so get ready for that. Also, I'm, I have a project which I'm building with my community right now, 2024. It's actually going to be a blessing. It's going to be a big one. I can't wait. In three words, describe the pop culture scene this year. Innovative, dynamic, uh, exciting. The pop culture scene, three words, growth, drama, excitement. Uh, I think <laughs> it's been funny. It's been funny, interesting, and um, I think the third word is going to be mind-blowing. <laughs> <laughs> Exciting, um, new, and shocking, to be honest. I think that's I think the three words. Amazing, amazing. The pop culture scene this year has been actually been amazing. Like, it shows that actually we're so talented. Like, Nigeria itself is talented. The art, um, the entertainment industry, the culture. It's amazing, and so many new artists keep coming up, and so many Apart from the music, you know, just, you know, content creating, you know, just movie itself, um, just Nigeria choke, man, it choke for us here. Yeah. And I'm, I'm very, very impressed by everything that's coming out of Nigeria. Pop culture scene this year has been crazy because the world has been crazy lately. I don't know if you've noticed, there's just so much going on in the world. I mean, it has been cool. Beyonce went on tour this year, so that was cool. That was really, really cool. Um, and, you know, Nigerian artists, being nominated for multiple Grammys, you know, just seeing Nigerian artists and creators have been doing things that really inspire us and make us proud to be Nigerian, which is kind of weird, but also cool. What is your most iconic moment this year? Okay, so my most exciting moment is nothing in particular. Um, it's basically those moments that I I have on stage connecting with my fans and um, times that I'm on set and just doing what I know how to do best. So those are the, those are the um, moments for me this year. He probably was hosting the first edition of the Roundtable. So I'm hosting it again this year. It's the second one, but the first one was probably my most iconic moment. Had 125 people, which is modest. But, you know, it really felt like it was a thousand plus people there. So that was very iconic. Um, I think it's the Barbie fever. Let me say I'm not really, I wasn't really familiar with the entire Barbie culture and everything. Um, this year sort of made me realize how big and how huge um, the Barbie culture, the Barbie um, tradition is. Um, I think we sort of had Roughly like six, seven months of promotions, marketing, buzz. Like I see my own friends, my, my own male friends having to sort of shop for pink stuff, right? So I think it's the Bobby fever that, that is the mind that is like the most, most interesting or the most mind blowing um, iconic moments for me this year. But well, actually seeing Rama, you know, having his own show in O2 was a very big one for me. I'm a very big fan of Rem, I'm a Raven. So seeing that was also a big one for me. Also seeing the fact that our top guys are selling out, you know, stadiums. You know, I heard Bonaboy did his as well in Tottenham Stadium. I think um, Whiskey did his own as well. So these are like Nigerian artists in Africa literally selling out stadium of 60,000, 80,000 capacity. I don't think five years ago or 
10 years ago we, we would have seen such things like but it's happening and I'm like in our time and I'm seeing everything and I'm like huh oh. like he choked oh my god it would definitely be um going on tour with Buju and having to be like in a crowd of people and Buju like introducing me by my name and then people like already you know screaming my name right back at me I'm like you guys know who I am oh my god so I feel like those moments or that particular moment on the tour was very like it was an iconic moment to me because I didn't I didn't expect that in any way I wasn't prepared to get that type of feedback so would you consider fashion as a major role player in 2023 pop culture scene? Yeah, totally. I think the way you dress is a major role. Um, even in your career and identification, people like to use like modes of dressing to know who you are. Because sometimes what you wear is kind of it talks about you before you even speak. It's like, oh, you know, she has like. Uh, a blue hair and like she has this oversized jacket and that's probably Maddie or something even sometimes without like your face being evident so I feel like your outfit speaks a lot about you and identifies you. Yes I'll, I'll consider fashion as a major role player in pop culture if you look at how most industries develop most music industries you see that the fashion industry is growing in parallel so I you know I'm trying to embody that myself by trying to be fashionable too. Hi guys, my name is Jades. I'm a singer, songwriter, and an actor. It's been fun on Spice Most. Happy holidays. Hi, my name is Kennedy Ekizie and I'm the CEO at Kepa. It's been amazing at Spice Most. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year in advance. What's up people? My name is Dijulu Kung. I'm a fashion photographer and creative director based in Nigeria. It's been fun on Spice Most. Happy holidays, guys. And it's been fun on Spice Most. And I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. What's good, everyone? My name is Nonzo Bassi. I'm a singer, songwriter, actor. And I had so much fun on Spice Most. Wish you a Merry Christmas and a great 2024 to come. All right. Hi, guys. My name is Cross, Cross the Bus. Be fun here at Spice Most. Don't touch that dial. Keep it locked down. And um, yeah, happy holidays. Sadly, we've come to an end of today's episode on Spice Most. Catch us on our social media platforms at Spice TV underscore Africa on Instagram and at Spice TV and YouTube. You can also keep up with us 247 on our website www.spicetv. Until next time, stay fetch and happy holidays. <laughs>